our whole lifetime with Honey. She's always been a big baby. So when we first brought her home, she was the tiniest little thing. She was instantly like adapted to everybody. Like my daughter at the time, she was like six months old. So she would take a nap and Henny would lay on top of her and take a nap with her. Or she would lay, my daughter would be in her jumper and she would just go like right underneath her feet, like right between her legs and just lay there, whether she got jumped on or not. <laughs> because she was the cutest little thing at that point. Every time she'd see my husband, she would jump on him and dramatically just start licking him like crazy. Henny would only get on top of me and I liked it and she was so soft when she was a baby. So every time she shook her tail, like we'd have to move because her tail was so aggressive. <laughs> so if you got shook, like if she'd shake near you and you get hit, like <laughs> it's your fault, you should have moved. But her tail was always the funniest thing. It was after Halloween that we noticed Henny was getting lumps in her neck. They weren't going away, they were only getting bigger. So I took her to a vet. They said that they think she has stage three lymphoma. That day we went to the VCA. We started chemo meds for her. Karma Sue helped me financially pay for her meds to keep her with us for a little bit longer. Laying Henny to rest was not easy. It was not the option I wanted to do, but they helped me like financially, supportively lay her down. So if you apply for Karma Sue and you get accepted, like they accept your application, then you automatically get the Harley Gray project. They're just like caring, they're loving, they're very gracious. Like, thank you so much. <laughs>